Also guys, this is Ferdinand here with another tutorial which is going to be a quick one because um, it's really easy. But it's just a little, oh, just showing you how to basically turn a low poly model into a high poly model. And basically, uh, if you don't know what low poly is, as you can see on the face, you can see the little chunks of squares where the sort of the face has been built up. And it's not particularly smooth and it you can see where like all the shadows are in that it looks pretty shit but in order to fix this all we do is just come up here and grab a hypernerbs and what we do is you grab the model or the mesh or whatever and drag it into the hypernerbs and what that will do is um, you can't really see it because mine's got a funny colour but what it does is where it has all these little lines what it do is it will subdivide it each, each one and if I just click on now you'll see it creates more polygons on the model, which help and uh, helps it to smooth it out a bit more. I don't know how to explain it because if you have a few polygons, it's going to be all chunky now. But if you have lots, then it'll make a nice smooth, it'll make a smoother sort of edge. If you know what I mean, I don't know how to explain it exactly. But my computer's going really slow. There, here we go. As you can see here, that's nice and smooth. If I turn it off, you'll see how chunky it gets. Come on, there we go. So you can see all the chunks around the nose. Obviously, my computer's going really slow because I've got iTunes op open. Um, I've got the recording going. I've got internet open, and I've also got a, a render going on at the same time. And that's it's a bloody long render. Three minutes a frame, and I'm doing 150 frames. And that's just going to be about three seconds, not even that of the animation, but fuck it, you know. I have to get it done. So basically, yeah. And then you, what you can do is you can turn it off, work with the animation, and then when you come to render it, switch it back on again because I wouldn't advise sw um, having Hypernerbs switched on when you do your render because once I click onto it, it'll take a little bit of time because obviously the computer is going slow. You can see how many polygons there are now. It, it's made a hell of a difference and it will make you know your workflow a lot slower. So I'd turn it off. But if you just look around here while I switch hypernerbs on and off, you'll see the difference. So that's on now, so wait for it. Yeah, it's all nice and smooth. That's basically how to turn the models from like a low poly to high, mo high poly. Now, this probably won't always work, but there's no harm in giving it a go because that's what I just done here. I just decided to test. And it's the same thing with the whole body as well. Say so the legs. Oh, uh,. I don't know, where should we look? See, look here. You can see where the the polygons are. Just big triangles. If you switch that on, all nice and smooth. Same with the knee pads, it just makes it a, a lot better. But somehow it could fuck up the model, um, depending on which one you got, but most of the time I would think it'll be fine. Um, so I'd advise using this, I do it. And that's how you make nice, smooth models from a low poly mesh. So yeah, please like, comment, um, subscribe if you haven't, and look uh, forward to my upcoming projects which are yet to come. Um, just to let you know guys, I've joined a, a team, Team Calibre, um, and I will be coming back to do Call of Duty montages and that again at some point, because in a way I do miss them, but that's all I'm doing. I'm only doing a few for them, I'm not doing anybody else's because... They do get boring if I do too many of them, and I don't really want to lose the motivation again, so I'm just trying to build it back up again. So yeah, please like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.